Hi boys and girls, welcome back. This is Mrs. Maldonado. I have prepared another uh, first grade virtual summer video lesson for you in reading. And then we have a fun um, fish paper fan uh, project for you. Okay, so we are going to uh, review some text features. Okay, this is the front cover of our book and this is our title, Fish. And here is our table of contents for chapter one what is a fish and then we have the page numbers here so we know on what page um, this title begins what is a fish okay for chapter two we have fish features starting on page 10 and then we have use your smart words on page 16 chapter 13 acting fishy and we have that starting on page 18 uh, use your smart words on page 24 we have chapter four, where do fish live? On starting on page 26 and use your smart words on page 30. We also have a smart words glossary, boys and girls. So when we refer to smart words, that um, that is the same thing as vocabulary words in this text. Okay, and then um, it has some answers for some of the activities that we have within this text. Okay, so today we will be focusing on chapter four. And the title for that is Where Do Fish Live? Okay, we will also see some words that are bolded. Remember, bold words stand out. Um, they are darker, darker text than the other words. Also, we will see some labels of some photographs. Okay, um, and then we will, we will see the definitions for our smart words, our vocabulary words that are in bold print in a little uh, word uh, box like this that says smart words. Okay, so our title, Where Do Fish Live? The place a fish usually lives is its habitat. All fish live in water habitats, but not all water is the same. Many fish live in the oceans and seas. These are saltwater fish. Other fish live in lakes and rivers. These are freshwater fish. Okay, so this is a, a label here, freshwater fish. It's telling us what kind of fish these are. Okay, so if it's, if it's freshwater fish, uh, that means they live in lakes or rivers. Swordfish, mandarin fish, and sharks live in salt water. So here's a photograph of a swordfish, and here's a photograph of a mandarin fish. Wow, that's a pretty colorful fish okay then we have carp pike and trout live in freshwater so this is a pike and this is a rainbow trout salmon lay their eggs in rivers then they swim back to the sea okay so the salmon they both live uh, or they go to the rivers and also to the sea boys and girls so those they're pretty uh interesting fish and this is a salmon spawning in the river a colorful home a coral reef is a special fish habitat a coral reef grows in warm water it needs sunshine to grow and it it's telling us tropical fish on, on a coral reef so the tropical fish boys and girls are usually very colorful and it's telling us that it needs um the coral reefs, they need a sunshine to grow. Okay, corals look like rock, but it is a living thing. This is a closed brain coral. Wow, boys and girls, this is pretty amazing. Look how that coral looks. Many types of fish live in coral reefs. The fish and coral are colorful. This is a clownfish, a lot of you know this kind of fish because of the movie Nemo. So they are called clownfish and they live in an anemone. Okay, so that's what that is there. Okay, the coral provides food for the fish. So it is important to take care of the coral reef. Many fish and other animals depend on it to survive. Okay, so now we have our smart words, boys and girls. Use your smart words. Look at the pictures of these colorful fish. They live in different areas, but in the same type of underwater habitat. Can you guess what it is? 
draw a picture. Okay, so this fish is called a blotches big eye. This is a coral grouper. This is a royal angel fish. And this is a threadfin butterfly fish. Wow, boys and girls, look how colorful all of those fish are. They are pretty amazing fish just to look at. Um, now we're going to talk like a scientist. Okay, it says a coral reef is a habitat. We're going to use your smart word in another sentence about fish. Use your smart word in another sentence about fish. So the word is habitat. The smart word is habitat. How can you use that word in a sentence, boys and girls? If you're talking about fish, can you use that word in a sentence? Habitat. Okay, um, and remember that the different habitats that these fish live in. We talked about them uh, living in the sea, in the ocean, in lakes, and rivers. And now we just um, learned about the coral reef. So those are different underwater habitats that fish live in. Okay, and here is our smart words glossary because that's another text feature, boys and girls. At the end of our books, we usually have a glossary that gives us the definition of all the words that we have learned within our text. Okay, so the first one is, and it's also an ABC order. So the first one is adapt. That means to change in order to live in a certain place. Remember this fish, boys and girls? That was the blobfish. Defense, a way to protect against danger. I believe this was the porcupine fish. Okay, also like a like a puffer fish. Okay, feature a special a special part of an animal, person, or thing. And in this text, boys and girls, we learned about the different features of uh, the fish. We were, we learned about the fins and the tail. Okay, the gills, the scales. Those were different features that the fish have. Okay, fin. A thin, flat body part that fish use to swim in water. So we see that they have different kinds of fins and they all have a name. Okay, then fish is a water animal with gills and fins. Then we have fresh water. Inland water such as lake, river, or pond. And a fry, we learn boys and girls that it's a young fish. A baby fish is called a fry. Okay, we have some other vocabulary words here. Uh, this vocabulary word is gills. It's the opening on a fish's body that help it to breathe. Okay, so they have gills. We have lungs. Okay, habitat. The place where an animal lives. We talked about different habitats, underwater habitats, where we can find fish or where fish live. Okay, life cycle. A series of changes that happen over the life of an animal or plant. And salt water, the salty water of an ocean or sea. And then uh, last but not least, we have scales. And scales are small thin plates that cover the body of a fish or reptile. Okay, boys and girls, so now we are going to be moving on. Uh, I have an art project for you uh, that I would like to share. Okay, boys and girls, so here is our craft for today. It is a fish fan paper craft. Okay, so what you're going to be doing is you are going to be folding the paper. Now, again, if you don't have construction paper, that is okay, boys and girls. You can use whatever kind of paper you have. And if it's uh, if you want your fish to be a certain color, you can just go ahead and color the paper with a crayon and then just fold it and your fish will be um, whatever color you choose it to be. You can also make patterns, okay, for your uh, fish craft. Okay, so I'm going to start the video for you.
Okay, so if you notice that um, they took out three different colors of paper, okay, the white one was for the eye, and then um, then they have one for the fins, the fins and the tail, and then the one's going to be for um, the fish. So make sure that you are using a square, boys and girls, and if you don't have a square, um, just fold it over and whatever's left um, at the bottom, that is, you're going to cut it off so it could be a perfect square on your regular uh, size of piece of paper that you have like a writing paper, lined paper, okay? So they're folding it, they're going to fold it to the front. Now you flip your paper over and you fold it to the back. And then you do the same thing all over again. And you're going to keep folding until you finish all the way to the end. Okay, so don't forget to flip your paper over. Okay, so when you are done, you're going to fold that paper in half, okay? And that's where the fan is. If you can see uh, the fish right here, that's where he's, where she's folding it, okay? So then, um, again, you might need glue for this, boys and girls, but if you don't have glue and maybe you might have tape, you can use tape, okay? Get creative. Use what you have. Um, just make it work, boys and girls. It does, uh, have, doesn't have to be exactly what's on the video, this is just uh, to show you how to fold and how to put it together. But you can use whatever kinds of papers you have, whatever color you want. You can color whatever color you want. And um, yes, and for as far as tape or glue, it does not matter. Okay, so that's the smaller size of a uh, paper. Okay, so remember it had a bigger size, and then you need a smaller size because that's um, they're going to use that for the tail. So they're going to do the same thing. They're going to be folding it just like they um, folded the bot the fish, uh, the body for the fish. Now they're going to fold the tail. So you are also going to use another square, but it's going to be a smaller size. Okay. Don't use the same size as the other one. It's got to be smaller. So you need a big, big square, a smaller square, then a teeny tiny uh, white, white one for the fish. You're going to fold it forward, backward, forward, backward. Don't forget to flip the paper over. Okay, so they're folding it just like they did the big one. Okay, so that's a little small rectangle. They're making kind of like a half circle. Okay, and that white one is for the eyes. 
Okay, so they're folding it in half. That way when they cut it, it's going to be two. Just to save time. And that way they're both the same. The same size. Okay, then you can get a marker, a crayon, or a pencil. And then you're going to draw a little black dot. Okay, for the eyes. Okay, they used glue. So that's uh, for the fins, boys and girls. Okay, they're adding more glue. So they're going to glue it together. But before they put it together, remember to put your fins in. Don't forget your fins. And then um, they're going to also glue the tail so it can stay together. Okay, and then they're, before they glue all of it together, all the body, they're going to leave a little piece in the back. There we go. Okay, so that's going to be the tail. A little fan for the tail, a big fan for the body. Okay, now they're going to um, glue the eyes. They're going to put one on each side. Okay, so that's one for that side, and then they're going to have one for the other side. Okay, whoops, came off, so they're going to glue it back again. So just uh, make sure that it's, it has enough glue, boys and girls, so it can stay on. So there's the school of fish. Okay, boys and girls, I hope you've enjoyed our video for today. Um, we've been learning a lot about fish this week. So we read all four chapters already on this book. And we had a fish craft for every time that we read a chapter. Um, I have another, um, another theme for next week. And I hope you join me for that because it's going to be super, super fun. I have another book um, that I would like to share with you. Um, it's going to be a surprise. I'm not going to tell you what it is, but it's going to. we're going to do the same thing. We're going to have four chapters, and we're going to read each chapter a lesson just so that the video is not too long and you have time to finish an um, arts and craft project. Okay, so that concludes our video for today, boys and girls. Thank you for joining me. And can't wait to see you again for the next video.